Hi guys, today I'm throwing it back to one of my favorite furniture builds. Last summer I built this floating vanity for my parents. I included this project in my vacation rental series last year, but I wanted to make a dedicated video just for this build. I found inspiration for this vanity on Laughlin Furniture's website. This 36 inch vanity cost over $3,000, but I was able to build it myself for under 300 in lumber plus $130 for the vessel sink. For this project, I used my dad's workshop and I was a little spoiled with all the space and his nice DeWalt tools. I'm taking notes for when I can upgrade my shop. You can find free plans for this floating vanity on my website. I will link the free plans in the description below. So for this vanity, I'm using one four by eight sheet of three quarter inch red oak plywood and a four foot by four foot sheet of half inch red oak plywood. I'm also using a few one by two and one by eight boards. You could find the material list, cut list, and project plans on my website. We bought this round vessel sink from Ikea for $130. And like I mentioned, our lumber was less than $300. So I call that a major win compared to the $3,000 plus price. First, I cut all the plywood down to size and lightly sanded with 220 grit sandpaper so that it was nice and smooth. To assemble the inside box, first I secured the pieces with wood glue and a few brad nails, making sure that the good side of all the boards were facing in. After the box was tacked together, I came back and reinforced with screws. I used a countersink bit to sink the one and a quarter inch screws flush with the plywood. This will be the inside frame of the vanity, so all of these screws will be hidden. Next, I'm cutting this 1x2 red oak board to fit inside the box. This will be my drawer stop. I secured this to the inside of the box using wood glue and brad nails. Next, I'm attaching a backer board to the vanity. This is what we're going to use to secure the vanity to the wall. I used scrap one by four, but I recommend using some scrap one by eight board if you have any leftover from your project. I secured this to the inside of the box as well using wood glue and one and a quarter inch screws.
Now that the inside of the vanity is assembled, I can work on the outside box. For the bottom, I used half inch plywood. Then for the sides and top, I used three quarter inch plywood. I would have used three quarter inch plywood for the bottom as well, but then I would have had to buy an extra sheet of three quarter inch plywood. So this half inch will work just fine. I wanted to double up the plywood to give the vanity some added strength and to make it look a little bit bulkier. I just straight cut the bottom half inch plywood and then for the side three quarter inch pieces, I used my table saw to miter a 45 degree angle at the top of the board. The bottom of the board will just be straight cut because you won't see those joints. After the side panels were cut, I clamped them in place so I could get an accurate measurement for the top 3 quarter inch plywood piece. For the top piece, I mitered each end at a 45 degree angle to make the corners meet up nice. Once everything was dry fit, I secured the top panel first with wood glue and clamps. Then I countersunk one inch screws from underneath. These screws will be hidden. For the side panels, I secured them with wood glue and clamps. Then on the inside, at the top, I secured a few screws since these will be hidden by the drawer. I threw in some additional brad nails from the inside as well to secure the panel. I'll just have to fill these nail holes later on. I secured the bottom panel with wood glue and one inch screws. Next, I used this 1x2 red oak board to trim out the vanity. I mitered the corners and then secured it to the vanity with wood glue and a few brad nails.
I filled all the nail holes with some homemade wood filler. Now I'm working on the drawer for the vanity. This is a very shallow drawer since we need to make room for the plumbing underneath the sink. This drawer is about 10 inches deep. For the drawer face, I used a one by eight board and ripped it down at an angle to about seven inches. The angled part of the drawer face is what you will pull on to open the drawer instead of using drawer hardware. I used 1x8 boards for the side and back of the drawer as well, but I ripped that down to 6 inches. For the bottom of the drawer, I used half inch red oak plywood. To secure my drawer pieces together, I cut a half inch dado using my table saw. I just made a bunch of eighth inch passes on my table saw until the groove was half an inch to fit my half inch bottom panel piece. I used a half inch chisel to scrape out any of the leftover wood chunks. To secure my drawer face to the drawer, I'm drilling pocket holes on the outside of each of my side drawer pieces. I'm going to wait to install my drawer face though until last so I can get it nice and centered. I assembled my drawer pieces together using wood glue and brad nails. To finish up the vanity, I'm sanding everything down once more with 220 grit sandpaper, making sure to round each of the edges a little bit. First, I stained the vanity with Minwax Weathered Oak, and I didn't love the color, so I actually went back, sanded everything down, and then used a whitewash stain to make the red oak look more like white oak. Once it was installed, I did three coats of polyurethane, lightly sanding in between each coat. Last, I'm installing the drawer slides. These are 12 inch soft closing drawer slides. They're the shortest slides I could find to fit my 10 inch drawer. Once I centered my drawer face, I clamped it in place and then secured it to my drawer with pocket screws. Before installing the vanity, we drilled a hole in the top so that the sink sits flat and to make room for the plumbing. Our plumbing will be going through the wall so it will be completely hidden by the drawer. We also added some additional backing to tie the vanity into during the framing of the bathroom so this vanity will be nice and secure. If you can't install additional backing, you'll want to secure the vanity into studs in your wall. We also ended up adding an additional cleat to the wall underneath the very bottom of the vanity for added strength. That's it for the floating vanity project. Once again, you can find the free plans linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.